Moschino Toy Boy from 2019, the black teddy bear bottle. In this video, I'll tell you what it smells like, what the fragrance experts say about it, and where you can buy it cheaper at the end. I'm going to start with the fragrance, which is basically a woody, cedar, peppery rose fragrance. Most of the time, rose fragrances are more geared for the female crowd. In this instance, it's definitely unisex. Both man or women can wear it. So this saves you money if you wanted to buy one for you and your partner or wife or whomever you're with. The Moschino is an Italian fashion design brand. They've made such hits, which are now Hall of Fame cheapies like Womo and this thing called Sailing Moschino. They're all very affordable. And this one just got released in 2019. It's got excellent performance, excellent projection. It's very soft because it uses cashmere, not cashmere, but cashmere. Dior Ohm 2020 uses cashmere, and this one uses cashmere. Anyway, the fragrance basically is a rosy pepper fragrance. It smells good. You've got some clove in it that comes out. It's quite interesting, but it's just like sprinkled on in the background and you've got some magnolia that you can kind of smell deeper into the experience like 20 30 40 minutes magnolia flower that's in it all in all the fragrance community the aficionados that they're on the blogs those people that just love to criticize fragrance they bow down on this one they love it because it's so unique they've never smelled anything like it interesting enough that they came up with this fragrance now Moschino does have another one by Toy called Toy 2. And I got a hold of this and I gotta tell you it's very, very feminine so much so that guys were buying it for their girlfriends during Valentine's Day last year, 2019. And it was a huge, huge success hit. They were loving the advice I gave them to buy that one. Back to this one. If you like rose fragrances, another one you might try is Cartier. Dune Soir, which is a more masculine, a lot of nice, soft, subtle projection, but very kind of powdery, but nice. It just makes you feel good. I think it's coming from the mixture of the pink pepper, which is almost like a berry pepper mixed with that Rose Absolu. It also has a note called Amber Max in it, which fuses all the notes together. And Amber Max also gives it a cedar wood type nuance. So you're thinking about spicy, woody rose Coming up on the Google search, you have this for $58 to $70. At the Sephora stores, it's $96. But on this website right here, you can buy it for $49. But it comes in a tester box like that. They do also service the brand new in the retail box. So that's a way to save money. Nice and soft and comfortable. And you wear it in clothing like this, it's fine. I think it's better for a slightly upscale event. But again, you can wear this type of fragrance all year round. You can wear it to work because hours later, it'll just come off you nice and soft. Question of the day today is, what is some rose fragrance that you would like to wear, that you like wearing? Comment down below. And if you're new here, my name is Christian O, fragrance lover since 1996. And if you like these sort of videos that talk about fragrances, simply click on playlist. We have over 315 videos, nice and neatly organized. Back to this Moschino Toy Boy final thoughts. What age group can wear it? I say that 25 and up can easily wear this. Mature 25 year old. How long did it last? We already said it lasted eight hours. Where can you wear this? You can wear it to work. You can wear it to nice events. You can wear it with all kinds of clothing. And how does the sprayer work? It comes out in a pressurized spray. And hey, did you see this video yet? I just made it yesterday, and this video YouTube is suggesting to you to watch. Hope you enjoyed this. See you soon.